Water is a fundamental right. But according to the United Nations, more than 800 million people have no access to clean water and 2.6 billion to effective sanitation. Every year, 1.5 million children die from water and sanitation related diseases. For the past five years, Relex Group has been running the Relex Group Environmental Challenge, a competition aimed at rewarding innovative projects that ensure safe water and improve sanitation in developing countries. These are some of their stories. In 2011, Relex Group funded a Tagore Sengupta Foundation project to treat water contaminated with arsenic in Cambodia, based on their successful work here in West Bengal, India. This village was known as an arsenic prone area because most uh, people have died due to arsenic. Uh, the arsenic leads to cancer. Back in 2004, we have installed this arsenic removal plant. And uh, this uh, technology has been developed by Dr. Arukmar Sengupta. He is the founder member of Tagore Sengupta Foundation. Dr. Sengupta has developed this resin, which is useful in uh, removing arsenic from the groundwater. So since then, his technology has been used in different parts of the world. Apart from water, we also work for sanitation, education and uh, women empowerment. So that's the role of uh, Tagore Sengupta Foundation. The 2015 winner was the Alternative Indigenous Development Foundation, AIDFI, based on Negros Island in the Philippines. Their ramp pump technology effectively transports water to communities at high elevation and is now being deployed in other countries. AIDFI so is concentrating at the moment on low-cost technologies, but very efficient, very good quality. The poor also deserve good quality technologies. And we had 15 technologies developed for all kinds of basic needs. But at the moment, it's all concentrating around our uh, ramp pump. It's a water-powered pump, and it needs uh, free-flowing water to operate. And then it can pump the water to a very high elevation. This is 24 hours a day. And we always say it's not just the water power, but it's also powered by our passion. We train local technicians. They are selected from the community, from the village. And so we really create the sense of ownership over the, over the project. This village, lots of people have died of arsenic. So on their memorial, we have this chart. Uh, here mentioned the name of those people who have died of uh, cancer. So now no families are having any symptoms of arsenic. So the situation is pretty good. The people are doing very well here. For us it are small improvements, but for those people those are big, no? Because water is uh, basic for everything you do around your house. Then that's a huge impact. Uh, so a little water can make a big difference.